Hey, what's up? I'm Guy. I'm John. It's our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Give this video a like. Podcast below in the description. Check it out. John, this is an update to our video entitled Rodney Hudson Cut. This video is called Rodney Hudson Not Cut. Rodney Hudson <clears throat> Traded. Adam Schefter tweeting, the Raiders are trading Rodney Hudson and a seventh to Arizona for a third round pick per sources. Um, and guess who drafts right next to each other, the Raiders and the Cardinals. So to put this into context, last year they had three first round or third round picks, right. but they had back to back picks at 80 and 81. They took Lynn Bowden Jr. and Brian Edwards. This year, they have picks 79 and 80. So basically identical. I bet if we went to the draft value chart, Jimmy Johnson, it would be very limited amount of numbers, right? Differentiating those picks. We have to put into context two things. I would much rather have Rodney Hudson as my starting center than pick 79. I, I, I would. Try, if I'm trying to make the playoffs and be a really good team in 2021, which the Raiders are, they now do not have a center. I know they like their quote unquote young center. We'll see. A lot of teams have, and they can't replace a guy like Rodney Hudson. Rodney Hudson is a really good player. The second thing, their drafting history now, if we just go last year, 79 and 80, one of those players was dealt before training camp ended. And I, I think this whole thing just reeks of Gruden. Again, I'm not trying to just always shit on the Raiders, but his herky-jerky nature feels, I, I can't trust that they're going to parlay these guys into good players because last year Gruden, I'm sure I, Lynn Bowden Jr. is not a Mike Mayock player. He had a ton of issues off the field. When I texted people the moment he got drafted, cause I was like, God, I, I watched some Kentucky football. He would Lynn Bowden Jr. is a part of the best Kentucky team in the history of the program. They, you know, were right there with Georgia. They ended up not getting the SEC championship game, but I think they won 11 games. It might have been 10, but they they were really good. Stoops has done a good job there, and he was their best player. Major red flag off the field. Off boards, several teams in the league. And then immediately the, the Raiders can't stand them. And they go, oh, you know, it wasn't a character issue. No one trades a third-round pick in training camp. That's that's unheard of. That's unprecedented. Not, not even the biggest village idiot that follows the league goes, like, that's a little weird. Did, did you say for the value? It was for a fourth, correct? So they just draft the guy literally two months before, and then they trade him for less than the guy was just been traded for. Uh, and this year, think about this. The Miami Dolphins won 10 games, so that pick is later in the fourth round, right? It's not like the top five pick in the fourth round. Uh, so I, I just I can't have faith that they can do well in these picks. I like Brian Edwards, but he's one of two players because the other guy's gone. And I just, I, it just, it just feels kind of low level. Like the, the Raiders, how did this happen? Like, do you get credit for cleaning up your own mess? Yeah, like putting out the fire that you started. No. Um, by the way, kind of a similar deal. Aren't just looking back at it now. Bowden, it was Bowden and a sixth to the Dolphins for a fourth. Raiders love attaching picks when they're sending the player for a pick coming back. Well, you know why? Because they have to. Because in Bowden's situation, <clears throat> and now Rodney Hudson's situation. They're not – if they would have done – traded. hey, we're going to open a trading Rodney Hudson a week ago. You know what would have happened? They would have got a clean third. Who knows? Maybe they get like a – probably not a second, but maybe a higher third. Maybe some teams – think how many non-playoff teams would have gladly just taken Rodney Hudson on their team. So maybe that third rounder, instead of being 79, is like in the 60s, and you attach nothing. It's just – it's not well thought out business. Again, I use it's this not word thought a lot. out at all, her John. It feels herky jerky. Yeah, I mean, look, w w why do they change their minds on the trade? They weren't considering trading him. He asked for his release. They're they're gonna release him, and then what? Somebody reads Twitter and sees everyone's giving him a hard time because now they're cutting somebody with the cap calls and says, actually, guys, this is gonna cost us money. What what changed? Did they back to the original point? It was not a thought out decision. It'd be one thing if you were, you know, I, no, I don't think anyone liked the idea of cutting, cutting Rodney Hudson, but if it was part of a larger plan, you might disagree with the plan, but at least this is thought out and part of what you believe is like a three-step move. Okay, again, might not like the plan, but at least you're, you're thinking something through. This only reaffirms the belief that the decision to cut Hudson was haphazard. Yeah. And then what made you change your mind? The criticism you got? Because that's not a good way to operate. 
I the whole thing is bizarre. And it, the worst part is in like if they had created the mess, but then they fixed it with Rodney. Okay, you've got Rodney Hudson; he's your center. But that's not what they have. They've got a team that went eight that went eight and eight was not close to going to the playoffs last year. Uh, has been consistently trying to bang down that door. As I said the last time we talked about Rodney, the one thing we felt like they had kind of gotten in order was their offense last year, and now they've regressed offensively. Uh, it's it's uh, stupefying. Yeah, I mean, it just it, to me again is a little bit of a microcosm of the Gruden era. Uh, I, I just think we know what we're in for now with Gruden. It, yeah, you can never expect anything. You, you never know. Don't expect things to fly under the radar. Don't expect things to get done that make sense. Don't expect things to be smooth. Uh, <clears throat> I think the the Cardinals has benefited. I mean, they got themselves a good player. They, they've bought now and traded for three guys that were really good like within the last five years, right? Say, AJ Green, JJ Watt, Rodney Hudson. Yeah, ro- I mean, Rodney has been the most overall round, well-rounded good. J.J. was good last year, but it's been hurt. A.J. Green is, you know, a been risk. Been banged up for years. But yeah. not an expensive risk. Rodney Hudson is the most, I would say, sure thing of the three. Yeah. As proven these last five years, he's a consistent top two or three center. Like, that's, that's a good player for the Cardinals. I mean, that's a big, nice little move. But also, back to the right, like, why are you getting rid of a good player? I, I think that's the thing that's baffling. Because he's a little negative? Because you try to trade his friend Gabe Jackson? Because you didn't totally want to pay him the $9 million in cash this year? Because you truly believe this young guy is better? Wouldn't that have been hammered home probably January, February? That I think the Raiders are sitting on a gold mine in this young center. If they thought that, as you, as you have repeatedly said, we would have been dealing with uh, Rodney trades a while back. Just like we did with JJ. JJ, could they trade him? Nope, cut him, boom, found a new team. Maybe they don't get more than a third round pick because Rodney is on the other side of 30. Uh, but I do believe 100% he's not they cheap. nothing. He's not cheap. They, but there was a lot of money on the open market. Here's what I do think they might have been able to get if they would have traded him normally, let's just say a week ago. And just a normal NFL trade, right? Just boom, boom, player for trade. Like last night, Brockers goes to the Lions. Just you take Brockers for boom, for a seventh round pick. It's just a firm trade. You get a player, I get a pick. Yeah, Maybe nice. Rodney gets like a third and a seventh. And you attach nothing, right? The attachment shows they're not operating from a position of leverage. That's right. Even though the Cardinals, who I didn't, I haven't been locked in on their roster needs. Reading yesterday, they've been desperate for a center, but they lack some money, so they couldn't get a couple of the guys on the open market. Now they pounced here, but they still had like, they were desperate, yet they still had leverage in the trade. Think about that. Imagine just having the opportunity, I mean, having that phone call and going like, Okay, we want your third, and I'm going. Yeah, but we're going to need you to send us your six, what seventh? Yeah, seventh. seventh. So weird. I think also just on the Cardinals, a lot of pressure on. If Kingsbury does not make the playoffs, he's getting. I think they're all getting fired. Yeah, there is Don't a lot you? of pressure. Absolutely, there's a lot of pressure on them. But but again, this is the move I like by far and away the most that they made. I agree. This was an easy one. I agree. I think if the Raiders would have played this right. They wouldn't have just had one. They would have had a bid, right? That's where I think they – it probably maxes out of the third. I don't think you probably get in the twos given his age and the money. But maybe you get pick 68 and pick, you know, 200. Yeah. And you give nothing. Yeah, and there might you might also be – the other thing with them, I would imagine, is it an accident he ended up in the NFC? Like I would – like if the, the – I don't think they would have traded Rodney, Rodney Hudson to the Chiefs. Yeah, the, well, the Chargers signed a center. Like they were never going to trade him to the Chargers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like the best offer from the Chiefs, I I I would think would not. Would I would not say you would him. not be you, you would not do it. I wouldn't do a deal with the Chiefs if I was the Raiders. I wonder if they tried to send him to the NFC. I think they could send him to the AFC, like a Browns or whoever, a random team. I just don't think you could you couldn't send him to the Chiefs. <laughs> I don't know. Even the Browns is like that's who's like these. This is who you're battling no, I, with. I, yeah, I know, but if you don't play them, yeah, uh, yeah I hear you. It's easy. It's an easy. That's, deal it's for it's the an, if that's if you even think that way, it's an acknowledgement that he's a good player. Yeah. Well, he is a good player. No debate. 